Hello everyone. Today we are going to analyze this fixed beam. In this beam, there is a uniformly distributed load 60 kN per meter. It acts in the left half and there is a concentrated moment 160. It is acting at a distance of 2 meter from the right support and it is acting in the clockwise direction. Now, using moment area method, we are going to find the vertical reaction RB and the moment MB. Now, from the point B, we are going to find the moments about the point A and we are going to draw the bending moment diagram. We have to use the left hand side rule. Clockwise will be negative and anticlockwise will be positive. First, let us take the vertical reaction RB. It is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 8. 8 into RB, we will get 8 RB. We will get a triangular shaped diagram. Now, let us take the moment MB. Let us assume that it is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be negative. We will get a rectangle shaped diagram. We know that the moment is negative. Now let us take the moment 160. It is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be negative and we will have a rectangle shaped diagram. Now let us take the uniformly distributed load 60. It is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be negative. We know that with the UDL we have to multiply the distance and then the distance by 2 so that we will get to minus 480. The diagram will be in the shape of a parabola. Now let us name the diagrams as 1, 2, 3 and 4. Now let us find area 1. We know that it is a triangle. We know the area formula of a triangle half into BH. Here the breadth is 8 and the height is 8 RB. For area 1, we will get a 32 RB. Now let us find area 1 X on bar. We know area 1, let us apply that. We have to find the X on bar about the point A. For this triangle, the centroid distance towards the point A is 1 upon 3 into B. Here the breadth is 8. So 1 upon 3 into 8. For area 1 x on bar, we will get 256 upon 3 RB. Now let us find area 2. We know that it is a rectangle. When we multiply MB with 8, we will get the area 8 MB. We know that it is negative. Now let us find area 2 x bar 2. We know area 2. Let us apply that. We have to find the x bar 2. For this rectangle, the centroid lies in the center. When we divide the length 8 by 2, we will get the centroid distance. For area 2, x bar 2, we will get minus 32 MB. Now let us find area 3. This is also a rectangle. When we multiply 160 with the length 6, we will get the area. We know that it is negative. Now let us find area 3 x bar 3. We know the area. Let us apply that. When we divide the distance 6 by 2, we will get the centroid distance. For area 3 x bar 3, we will get minus 2880. Now let us find area 4. It is a second degree parabola. The area formula is 1 by 3 into bh. Here the breadth is 4 and the height is 480. Let us apply them and we know that it is negative. For area 4, we will get to minus 640. Now let us find area 4 x4 bar. For this parabola, the centroid distance towards the left is 1 upon 4 into b. Here the breadth is 4. So it is 1 upon 4 into 4. For area 4 x bar 4, we will get minus 640. We know that area upon EA is equal to 0. Let us add all of the area values. 
when we add that it will be 0 using that we can make this equation let us keep this equation as number 1 also we know that area x bar upon ei is equal to 0 let us add all of the area x bar values so that we will get this equation let us keep this equation as number 2 now we can solve these two equations when we solve we will get rb and mb by applying the rule sigma v is equal to 0 we can find ra now from the point b let us take a moment about a and find ma mb is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be negative R A is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 8. This movement is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be negative. The uniformly distributed load is acting in the clockwise direction so it is also negative. We know that with the UDL we have to multiply the distance and the distance by 2. Let us assume that MA is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be positive. Finally, for MA, we will get a positive value. That means our assumption is correct. MA is acting in the anticlockwise direction. Here you can see the shear force calculations. Here you can see the shear force diagram. In this point, the shear force becomes zero. Under the uniformly distributed load, in this point there will be maximum positive bending movement. In this point, let us make a section and find the distance. You can see that I have made a section at a distance of x from the point A. We know that in this section the shear force is zero. Using that concept, we can find x. Now, under the uniformly distributed load, let us find the maximum positive bending moment. MA is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative. RA is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 2.875. The uniformly distributed load is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative. We know that with the uniformly distributed load, we have to multiply the distance and the distance by 2. Finally, we will get 77.97. Now, let us find the movement in the point A. In the point A, we have MA, which is acting in the anticlockwise direction, so that it will be negative. In the similar way, we can find the bending movement at C. To find the movements in the point B and in the point D, we can follow left hand side rule. Clockwise will be negative and anticlockwise will be positive. Let us find the bending movement in the point B. In the point B, we have MB which is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be negative. Let us find the bending movement at just to right of D. MB is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be negative. RB is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 2. For the bending moment at just right of D, we will get 65. To find the bending moment at just left of D, with this value, we have to add the concentrated moment 160. Since it is acting in the clockwise direction, it should be applied as negative. For the bending moment at just left of D, we will get to minus 95. Here you can see the bending moment diagram. Now we are going to end this session. Thank you for watching this video.